I seen a GoFundMe campaign to fund the border wall. The president is in the midst of a political battle with Congress to get the first five billion to build a wall along the southern border, something he has said he'd be proud to shut the government down for. However, it isn't just the president who is eager to find funding for the wall. Disabled Air Force veteran and Purple Heart recipient, Brian Cole Fage, launched a GoFundMe campaign this week in hopes of raising one billion for the wall. Like a majority of those American citizens who voted to elect President Donald J. Trump, we voted for him to make America great again. President Trump's main campaign promise was to build a wall. And as he's followed through on just about every promise so far, this wall project needs to be completed still, Cole Fage wrote on the GoFundMe page. Democrats are going to stall this project by every means possible and play political games to ensure President Trump doesn't get his victor. They'd rather see President Trump fail, than see America succeed. However, if we can fund a large portion of this wall, it will jumpstart things and will be less money Trump has to secure from our politicians. In just five days, Roughly 11 million were raised by over 175,000 people yet one late night host took the opportunity to mock their efforts. After addressing the looming government shutdown in his monologue, Kimmel told his audience that Trump may not need Mexico or Congress to pay for the wall because very dopey people are ready to pay for it themselves. This is what people do with their disposable income when they don't have loans for college to pay off, Kimmel joked. Donating money for a wall that will never exist it's like starting a college fund for Harry Potter. A more useful thing to do with your money would be to go outside and feed it to a bird. You do have to admire the sacrifice they're making. I mean, a lot of these people are dipping into their meth money for this, Kim added. The ABC talk show host has repeatedly mocked